let us look at some examples of division. Uh, you can do division in different ways. Uh, there, are, there are algorithms that teaches you division, but my focus is to teach you uh, the, not the algorithm, but uh, the basis of division. Okay, the first question is, uh, I want to divide 168 by 6. Okay, so when you're dividing uh, by a number, you're thinking that this number goes how many times in 168. So first, let us count in 6 or in tens. Okay, so what do I mean? Um, so let us count in 60s. Okay, so if you count in 60, you go 60, then 120, then you got 180. Now 180 is too much. Okay, so well, I can say 168. Can I write 168 as 120 plus how much? 120 plus 40 is 160, and then 8, so 140. 120 plus 48 is 168. So 168 divided by 6, uh, I can do like this. Well, first I'll divide 120 by 6. So I know 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 120 divided by 6 would be 20. So I have divided 120 by 6, which gives me 20. I have got, I have got now 48 to divide by 6. So 48 divided by 6. So 6 goes in 48 how many times? So 6 times 8 is 48. So this is a, also a good way to check. 6 times 120, sorry, 6 times 20 is 120. And 6 times 8 is, so it's always good to see. So 20 times 6 is 120 and 8 times 6 is 48 just to show so this is how you can check so this means therefore I can say 168 divided by 6 is 28 and if you want to check you can check how can I check 28 times 6 28 times 6 should give you 168 so this is I don't know 28 times 6 so I go well this is same as 20 times 6. We are doing the opposite plus 8 times 6, which is 120 plus 48, which is 168. So your answer is absolutely right. Okay, so you can give yourself a star. Let us look at the next question 238 divided by 7. So here let us count in 70s. So we'll go 70. And if you're counting in 70, you go 140, 210, and 280. Now, this is too much. So, I'm going to write 238. 238, I can write as 210 plus 28. 210 plus 20 is 230, plus 8 is 238. So, this question can be changed. Therefore, 238, I'm going to write this. I'm going to first divide 210 by 7. So I go, I know 21 divided by 7 is 3, so this is 30. And then I have to divide 28 by 7. So what we are doing is we are splitting the number in tidy numbers that you can divide. So 28 goes, or 7 goes in 28 4 times. So the answer is 34. How will you get 34? 30 plus 4 is 34. So how can you check your answer? You go 34 times 7. So I'll do the algorithm strategy here. So here 7 times 4 is 28. If you write 28 like this. 7 times 3 is 21 plus 2 is 238. So again, your answer is right. So you can give yourself a smiley face. Okay, let us look at the next question. 208 divided by 8. So I'm going to count in 80. So you go 80, then 80 plus 80 is 160. Then this is 80, one, the plus 180 is 240. So this is too much. I don't want to go. So I'm going to write 208 uh, in terms of two, 160. So I can say 208 is 160. 160 plus what is 200? 40. And then you got an 8. So 160 plus 48. 
So I can change this question to 160 divided by 8. So 18 divided by 8 is 2. So it's 20 and then you got 48 to divide by 8. So 8 goes in 48. 8 times 6 is 48. Okay. Therefore, I can say 168 divided by 8 is equal to 26. So here the answer is 26. Okay, let us look at one more question. 212 divided by 4. Okay, so you can go in 4, 40s. So uh, you can go in 40, so you can go 40, 80, 120, 160, 200. Okay, and then you've got 240. So 240 is too much. So 212 is 200 plus 12 that's pretty easy so i can divide 200 by 4 so 200 divided by 4 is 4 goes in 20 5 times so 4 goes in 250 times then you're going to divide 12 by 4 so 12 divided by 4 is 3 so the answer is 53 okay so let us look at one more question 315 divided by 5. Here I'm going to do a different strategy. I'm going to double both the numbers. Okay, so when you're dividing by 5, it's pretty easy. You can double both the numbers. So if you double this, so this is 630 divided by 10. Okay, we'll do both the ways. So this is a method called doubling. And if you divide double this, you have to also double this. So the answer is 63. This is 63. Or you can go 300 divided by 5. This is this is the first strategy. This is the second strategy. 300 divided by 5. 30, 30 divided by 5 is 6. So 300 divided by 5 is 60. Then you have to divide 15 by 5, which is 3. So the answer both ways 315 divided by 5 is 63. Now here, the last question we are going to count in, let us count in 90s, okay? So this is, I have to go directly up to 900, okay? You know, 900 plus 200 and 52 is uh, 1152. So first thing is 900 divided by 9, that is 100. Okay, now I have to do... I, have to, I don't know to how to divide 252 by 9. So let us count in 90s. So 90, 180, 270. So I'm going to show you a different strategy here again. So I'm going to say this is 270, 252 is 270 minus how much? So 270 minus 10 is uh, 260 so minus 18 would give me 252 so 270 take away 10 is 260 and 260 take away 8 is 252 so 252 divided by 9 is same as I'm going to divide first 270 by 9 which is 30 then you take away 18 divided by 9 so 18 divided by 9 is 2. So 252. So here you are taking away. So you have to be careful here. So 252 divided by 9 would be 28. So this is 28 and you have got 100. So the answer is 128. So I want to check whether this answer is right. So let us check. So my if I... If my answer is right, 128 times 9 should give me 11,152. 1, so let us check uh, 128 times 9. So first I'll go 100 times 9 is 900. Then 2 stands for 20. So 20 times 9 is 180. And then you go 8 times 9 is 72. So let me add them up. So this is 2, 8 plus 5 is, 8 plus 7 is 15, remainder 1, so 1, 1, 5, 2. So 
So that was what you started with. So your answer is perfectly right.